have really exceeded expectations, but for the market, that was really a disappointment. I think we can now say hello to Gonzalo Cañete, Head of Global Market Strategy for TFX Connect. Gonzalo, good afternoon. Hi, Marta. How are you? Well, it seems that the market is not taking it so badly now, although I don't know if they are too optimistic or not. What is your opinion? Well, I think this is something we have discussed on more than one occasion. There has to be some catalyst that pulls the market down after so many consecutive rallies without pause, without pause, without pause. For me, the trigger for that rally started in December. A promise to cut interest rates and every macro data showing a market, labor market, mainly the labor market, because they know that that inflation that they were so worried about that we should not forget once again in the transitional one and that nothing had to be done about it. But now it seems that they are wrong again. They announced December rate cuts. They expected that the U.S. economy would gradually depress. Therefore, it would come, so to speak, synchronized towards an economic stimulus for the U.S. economy of a slowdown. It hasn't happened. The U.S. labor market continues to show unusual strength. Surprising because many members of the Fed have said that they are surprised not now, but already months ago with this data. And therefore, to me, the reaction we are seeing is that the whole bull market manufactured from the promise in December by Jerome Powell to cut interest rates in the year of the years 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 of the years, little by little, that promise is receding. And therefore, the market is left facing the reality, which is that all that rise was initially discounted by a cut in March that has not come. And that, as you quoted just now, Kaskaris, even suggesting that, well, maybe there is not even a rate cut for this year. And let's not forget, since December, especially at the Wall Street close, we were commenting for months we have been saying all the time the same thing. There is no macroeconomic data to justify a rate cut. It is an ace in the hole, that monetary measure that the Fed would not apply unless it was necessary. Therefore, if the market is at all-time highs, if the labor sector, the unemployment rate, labor sector, the unemployment rate is below the 4% year lows as well. Why do they need to cut rates? That's the question they're discussing behind closed doors at the Fed. And as it is becoming more and more obvious, the million dollar question that remains for us and for investors is, what if the rate cut doesn't happen? Then where does all the upside discounting that we have been seeing for three months go? Well, that's one of the big questions, big thought. Gonzalo Cañete, Chief Global Market Strategist for TFX Connect. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Marta. My pleasure.